Welcome everyone to another movie review. This is the 2016 movie Warcraft that I actually found pretty entertaining and pretty interesting especially when you consider the movie is really an analogy of the Muslim invasion of Europe. And let me explain to you why. Here we have the Warcraft movie poster and some information that gets pulled up automatically if you have the movie in Plex. I want to introduce you to some of the main characters. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Because this is not a review of the movie exactly. It's really explaining to you how Warcraft is really the movie is really an analogy of the Muslim invasion of Europe, primarily. So let me introduce you to some of the main characters. First of all, this is the evil leader of the Muslims. Okay? He's nothing more than power-hungry, wants to invade new worlds to destroy them because he's already destroyed the world that he's from. Okay? Basically, Third world trash trying to invade the West, the rich, beautiful, comfortable West, okay, to take what he can take. Take what he can take. And notice that the invasion consists of 99% military age men. Sound familiar? In this whole movie, I think there's only one woman in the whole movie. Islam is nothing but constant internal battles because as we know there is no Islamic Pope. There is no real leader of Islam. It's pretty much all for grabs. And here is a scene from the movie when there is this power struggle and a fight. Now, on the western side, on the west side, there's always an accomplice or someone who creates the problem and that's in the west it's Merkel who invited in all of these low IQ I'm saying not all of them but probably 99 percent they can't get jobs in the west because they have no skills they can't even read in their own language read and write they're illiterate in their own native language they sure as hell are not going to be able to learn German not very easily and certainly not fluently, but you've got Merkel, right? That's that's German Chancellor Merkel. This is the Merkel from the movie. This wizard who believes that by opening the gates and allowing these migrants to come in, he'll gain more power. Notice that throughout the movie, the color green is used, representing Islam, and also representing the color of the horde, and it, it's a perfect analogy. Now here is this Merkel character who is glowing green because he's opening the gate. Now, are there not peaceful Muslims? Well, of course there are peaceful Muslims. For instance, here is a good Muslim wife. Peaceful Muslim wife. And here is the peaceful Muslim wife holding her peaceful baby. Please excuse the Korean subtitles. And, of course, here is a peaceful Muslim man. He just wants peace. And here is a half-breed, if you will, someone between both worlds who is also a good person. But what, what happens to the good Muslims? The ones that speak out, the ones that acknowledge and understand that there's a problem with Islam, there's a problem with the horde. What happens to them, generally speaking? Of course, the the um, the uh, Sharia law. Anybody who leaves Islam, the penalty is death under Sharia law. And here is the good. Muslim wife fleeing for her life, trying to save her life and the life really of her child. But what happens? 
What happens to peaceful Muslims? Of course, she's, she's slaughtered. She's killed for rejecting Islam, rejecting the horde. And Islam literally sucks the life out of you. Here is the peaceful husband getting the life sucked out of him by this evil Islamic leader. Of course, he gets killed also. He's dead too. The peaceful Muslims are killed. Right? Now, those in the West who convert to Islam, we know that 70% of them leave Islam within two years because they realize that hashtag Islam sucks balls is true. And it's what I say on all of these videos. When we talk about Islamic terrorism or terrorism in the West, validated or promoted by or um, excused by what is taught to Muslims in the Quran and in the life story of Muhammad, known as the Hadith, the sayings of the Prophet, the life of the Prophet, the Sunnah of Muhammad. You know, the perfect Muslim is what Muhammad did. And what he did was pretty bad. And when you learn that, you realize that Islam sucks balls. Hashtag Islam sucks balls. So what happens to those who convert to Islam? Well, of course, they become radicalized. Here he, here he is, Merkel, been radicalized, turned green, the color of Islam, turned into a monster. But how do we stop this? How do we stop this? Well, of course, we have to kill those traitors. And, of course, this Merkel character who opens the gates to the horde, who invites in the Islamic terrorist, thinking that it'll somehow give her more power, has to die. Now, I'm not saying that Merkel, Chancellor Merkel has to die. That's not what I'm saying. Don't misquote me. In the movie, the bad guys die, okay? But also, on the flip, good guys die also and make the tremendous sacrifice. Like the king, he, he has to sacrifice himself in order to end the war and to allow the people to be victorious. And in the end, they are victorious, okay? In the end, they are victorious, but they, they have to unite. When the Western forces unite, there's nothing that can stop us. And that's what happens in this movie. They are united by the sacrifice of the king, brings all the peoples together to fight against the horde. And, of course, since Islam has been fighting the West for 1,400 years, the battle is never done. And of course, the child who the good Muslim woman saves is picked up by a Westerner and the thought is that now we're going to be responsible to take care of this kid for the rest of his life, the next 85 years, even though he's an illegal alien and shouldn't even be here, should be deported. But the battle never ends, and the price for freedom is eternal vigilance, as goes the saying. And this kid at the end of the movie reminds us that we're always going to be, until we end this, we're always going to be fighting the green monster known as Islam. I'm Holy Joe Rock and Roll. This has been my movie review of Warcraft 2016 and how Warcraft equals the Muslim invasion of Europe. Reminding you to make it happen for the captain because you're the captain.